She says, uh, when you try dating as a mom in your 30s, uh, she gets the answer a lot of times of sorry. Yep. I Trelawney wanted to say something, so I am back. Trelawney wants to speak to you. Is John gonna listen to me? All I'm saying is something happens, we get split up, we meet there. O one Gila Dam, all right? All right. I know what went on in Blackwater. Well, none of us is pretending that was something nice. But I guess the way I see it, we're still here, and he's still right. I mean, look, you're all free to think what you want to think, but for me, I still believe in him because, well, he did what he did. But he did it for love. For all of us. Yes, I feel bad. They didn't deserve that. But listen, I just think, and I've been thinking about this a lot, I just think Dutch loves us. And being loved, well, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna make it. Hey. Hi, Arthur. Deep thoughts. Mr. Pearson. Oh. Hey. Reverend. Hello again, Arthur. Oh, she already changed. I want to talk to okay, you. Okay, Abigail. Hello, Arthur. How are you holding up? I'm okay. How are you? You don't look so good. Yeah. No, I'll be fine. Just worry about you and Jack. Uh-huh. Okay, I came from Chaloni. Get the hell up! <laughs> oh, it's so funny. What is it? <sighs> Look, I'm I'm sorry. Guess I'm just tired. I need to sleep. Of course you do. Uh, Karen. Yeah, neither are you. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. What's next? <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got it. I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> okay, sure. Yeah. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. <laughs> Anything for you, Charles.
Shut the hell up, you ambient voice. What's with you? Are you gonna throw me out like crowd? This way. No. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. Be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. up ahead. Hello. Easy. We chasha kill it now. Kola with Yampi. Hiopo. Unyapi Ktelo. This way. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said... 
Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man. But shall. Bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Hudson, let's go. Don't be dumb. Just let him go, okay? I'll kill you. you. What are you doing? Open fire! Follow me! Ah! He got stuck into a tree there. Holy shit. He'll be fine, I hope. I can't shoot at these men! But I can. Here come more of them! Man, please hold your fire! I want you to hold my fire and wanna shoot us in the face. I can't do it, Chief.
Move forces, damn it. God freaking damn it. Holy shit. Shut the fuck up already. Don't leave Monroe. Captain Monroe, you're with me. Fuck it, idiot. We sure as hell don't want to hang around here. Come on, follow me. Don't leave Monroe. I was protecting him, you fool. Don't leave Monroe showering again and again. What the fuck it is? I love Charles. He's my favorite, but come on. Jesus. Oh, shit. Trying to fire my weapon there, but no. Yeah. I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. Agreed. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. <laughs> Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Tuberculosis. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me, I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy, well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Life is full of pain. But there Please. is also love and beauty. 
What am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. It does. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. Huh. Uh, same <laughs> as me. Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> too kind, too. I guess I... I'm afraid. Aren't we all? There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard? Well, I'm not sure about that. I grew without love. I'm incapable of loving. So, I'm not sure. I don't believe in it. It's all bullshit to me. I shall try. I know you will. Good luck, sister. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. So nice. Goodbye. Sister. Final of conversation. <laughs> Didn't work out, killer. A pursuer's horse during the escape. Killing horses lower your honor, Rockstar. I won't do it. Kill a horse. The fuck is this, man? Complete with nine minutes. Complete with at least 75 accuracy. Hey there. Howdy. Howdy. He remembered to reply. Howdy. I used to play poke, not poker, dominoes here. Greetings, good amazing. to see you. Hello. Train tickets. Well, we are far from home. We are far from home. Hamish is there again, huh? My buddy. I was looking for him, but wasn't available. Then we need to help this princess. The course of true love five. Yep. Preoccupied. <sighs> yeah, we got him, old man. Western stranger. We got him, old man. Just before heading to that quest, I was hoping, just don't kill him, just keep them alive, I don't want to lose them. And then Rockstar ignores my wishes and just goes ahead and kills him. Easy, buddy. I say, please don't kill him, Rockstar, but they proceed You'll killing him. Right. One thing about Rockstar is you can't get attached to characters you love. Not Hamish and not Arthur. God damn it, Rockstar. There, boy. Good boy. Stubborn, but good. Crap. I didn't want him to die. Shit, he was my favorite. Crap, he is really big. Rockstar, Rockstar, Rockstar. My own train! Such a delight. Toot toot! All aboard! Hell yeah. And my trusty horse. Buell, I think, was his name, right? Right behind me, such a good horse. Such a good horsey. Everyone aboard! We're leaving! Yeah, such a 
Mighty vessel. That was fun. This mission had it all after all. Peace firing, shooting, train riding, you name it. And even some love and romance. What could you ask for more? What else do you need? Nothing, it was the best of all worlds. Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. Huh. And I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Reject. I couldn't take it. No. Let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Mm yeah. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> i much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Mm -hmm. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave. Everybody says he's a fine man. He always denies everyone and everything that he's not a bad, good man. The course of true law, even though we are swimming in, in good honor. Yeah. Headshot five of the broad weights is the pursuit of the train completed within seven minutes. I had to take my sweet time there, no rush. What's the freaking rush, Rockstar? I was expecting you bastards! You ain't got nothing! I was expecting you, I was well armed! I knew you would attack me, you sons of bitches! They were shouting, we got him! Well, I was riding with my weapon drawn, expecting you bastards! bastards. You ain't got nothing, you bastards! Anyone else? I knew I was riding in your Lemoyne territories, truckers! I was prepared for you to make a move. Wanted dead or alive, huh? Fine morning to you. Thank you. Morning to you. This guy, I cleaned his establishment twice from rats. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? Why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Como Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Whoa, man. Police. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Come on. She looks stunning. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, 
being a fancy woman of Saint Denis suits you. Hm. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old art. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. I don't think it's gonna go smooth. I think we're gonna get involved in a lot of shooting here, again. Don't the public love an execution? No one ever said anything about capturing him. I thought we're gonna exact revenge against him ourselves, not hey. see him hang. All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Thought he gonna bump Don't into brush us. that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. Galleria Laurent. Let's go. Quiet. Entrance. What's it look like? How many? What the? Paul's up on the roof. And once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. What the hell? Invisible guy there. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, no, no. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. On one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe. And get him. Do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. No, 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 I Rockstar, what are you doing? Trail. Or is it on my part? Jesus, he was invisible. Come on. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. Okay, want me to use that or use that? Find a way up to the roof and stop it. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. I think I maybe chose the long path, I wanted the second one. Enter! Gallows, gallows, which way was it? Set us up or something? 
When I get I go to the gun, they're gonna start shooting me then, I think. I knew somebody would attack me here. It looked too promising, damn it. You're skinnier than I thought you'd be. Well, here goes your escape. Critical plan. region highlights. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is. Can pick up my helmet. Holm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen. It's not him. And abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. Okay, it's him. Bad man. Silence. These charges. This are... is not a court. Where you shall be tried, this is a place where your sentence is to be carried out, and your sentence, Colm O'Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly, it is not a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Release! <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Morgan, you hear us? Take a shot on these other Grisco's. Royals left. I can't get a shot on Shit, it. they killed an officer. Shit. <laughs> Those legs. Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. <laughs> he dropped the outfit. Too bad. It was a nice costume. Should I kept it? Patrol the streets. Save innocent folk from bandits and riffraff alike. <laughs> the night ahead was nice. How you get on, Arthur? Well, <coughs> we saw the bastard hang okay, but... <coughs> No thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? <laughs> I 
ring. My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Shit. I was hoping to get a chance Hoping things will change and we'll be together again. But no! <sighs> Completed goodbye, dear friend. Say the Arthur and Dutch had to send Denise to watch him hang. Find Colm's backup within 45 seconds. Huh. With the long scope rifle complete. <sighs> Just gonna leave the envelope there. Okay. Running low on everything. The Reverend left, Arthur. Where'd he go? I, I don't know. He left me a note. Told me I should do the same. Why? Well, I think he's worried. I was right. He's a right to be worried. Are you worried? Of course. Sure, but I still think maybe things will turn out okay. You, you'll steer Dutch right. I know you will. <sighs> I'll try, Miss Grimshaw. Really, I will. I, think maybe I was right. I called it! But I wasn't sure, but I still called it. I said Reverend will be next. Because he sobered up. I thought to myself he will leave next. How do you do, Arthur? <laughs> hey, Uncle. Bill was arguing there about something. How are you doing? I'm bad. Trying to drink it off. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I always think that's the cure to all the problems. Here it's wrong. It adds more problems and you end up being hey, stupid. Karen. Drunk and stupid. Austin ain't a rat. How many years you known him? Why did they take so long to hang him? <sighs> what has happened to you? Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Sure, Arthur. Yeah. He asks you a question, what has happened to you? He just sits there and stares without answering. I hate moments like this. Tilly. Hi, Arthur. <sighs> Things are kind of a mess, ain't they? A mess you boys made. Was it me, Mary Not Beth, and Susan? None you of okay, us. You okay, Arthur? You might have Dutch food, but not me. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure, Carpock. Okay, Abigail? <sighs> Hello, Arthur. How are you holding up? 
I'm okay. How are you? You don't look so good. Don't feel good no, either. I'll be fine. Just worry about you and Jack. Uh-huh. Hi, Jack. Hi, Uncle Arthur. <sighs> I was so right. Who do you think the rat is? Rat. No one. Well, someone's talking to somebody. They has to be. <sighs> I reckon they just caught our scent and we can't shake them off, that's all. It's no one. I think it's Marston. What? Not Bullshit. Chance. Marston is loyal. Mark my words. Yeah, right. Well, I ain't marking them. You're wrong. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Sure, Morgan. How Dimitri Raskolov from GTA 4 usually said, It's no one. That's the way I've been behaving. Making too much noise. This was inevitable. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. All this talk. It's no one. I remember how he said it. Much joy around this campfire, Uncle. It was an amazing cutscene. I bet it's you. Well, if you thought that, I would be here right now. What's Just problem, man. <laughs> That's Nico Belli always say. No, you've got a problem. Look at how you're acting. I don't have a problem. You have a problem? I don't know yet. But use your brain, friend. Use your brain. I'll use my brain. And you use yours. Oh, you want to die? What? Not particularly. You're making a dumb choice, man. I made no choices. The fuck is going on around here? Everybody losing their minds. What was that all about? You're just as bad. What happened to loyalty? Seems he's picked his side. Are there sides now? Seems that way. Apparently. Yeah, it was well, smells like your like loyalty you get, Dutch. Straight. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna pick sides. And you ain't Got one of them. For you. Always okay. stay Thanks. by Charles' side. I'll make some for you later. Sounds good. It seems he's picking sides. Looks like Javier picked Dutch. Things are going downhill in this camp real fast. 